everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George Pearsons is back with us with some really good stuff on. You probably don't want to hear this. It's about prosperity. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you do. You don't want to miss this. Gloria, Ooh. we started teaching on prosperity about six years ago. And we're still doing and it. And we're still doing it. And today is day number 246 of 246. our series of prosperity. 246. Yep, we're headed for 250. And in all of the teachings what that we've... What are we going to do when we get there? Well, start over? <laughs> we'll start over. There's, I'll tell you, though, there's plenty to teach about prosperity and how to believe yeah, God and how to receive from God. I know it's There's awesome. so much in there. And so many people, even Christians, don't believe it. They don't believe it. Well, I they believe better. it. You better stay tuned. You read it in the Bible That's right. you believe it. That's right. <laughs> and in all of the teachings that we've done together, the downloads of the notes are now up to 650,000. So I'll let you know when we hit a million. Really? Yeah, yeah, 650,000 well, downloads. somebody's listening. And so those of you that are watching, That's you awesome. can get all of the notes, not just the notes that we're teaching on these broadcasts, but you can get all of the notes that we've done since Glory and I started in 2011 on prosperity and you can download them, you can print them out, you can share them, teach preach them. It, teach it. I'll tell you something, you pastors, you can take them and teach sermons from them and print them out, give them to your congregation. I mean, just, just do what you want to do with them. They're out there for you to receive and to teach and to grow in. So Gloria, that's a good report about what's, what's that happening. That is amazing, isn't And it? <clears throat> let me do that's this. probably a record of downloads. Let me give you a quick testimony us. from uh, one of the teachings that we did. You and I have taught before about debt freedom. We've taught about how to believe God for a house. Yes, we did. And we have some partners in Australia. Um, dear Pastor George and Gloria, we've been longtime partners in Australia and have followed your teachings on believing for a house right through to exercising your authority. Last year in 2015, we went from this, and I have a picture of the house, a small three bedroom with debt. It was squishy, crowded, <laughs> it was a crowded little house. And then they show the picture of the new house, a very large, completely debt-free, five bedroom, room for us all with so much space and more so. Hallelujah. Isn't that a wonderful now, testimony? TV will, the, TV will show y'all. Yeah, I've got, the, Let me look I've right got the, the original house they were in right there. Okay. And then I here. I recognize it. <laughs> Does that look familiar? <laughs> and there, there's the house. Oh, man. That they're in now. Everybody Isn't that beautiful? look at that. Show them every, what that looks like. That's it's quite a really, an improvement. And they said, listen to this, because this goes right along with what you and I are talking about in these two weeks. You know, we're talking about bulldog faith. And bulldog faith is aggressive, it's determined, yes, it it's persistent. And we talked about some of those things last week. And listen to this. They said, praise God for his faithfulness. It didn't happen overnight, but through perseverance and not wavering, God moved on our situation in a way that we weren't expecting. Those two words right there, Gloria, perseverance yeah. and not wavering. That's right. That's what it takes. Really, bulldog faith, and we'll talk about this in a few days, but bulldog faith is single-minded on the Word of God, totally focused on the victory at hand. And so we talked last week about this. We, we talked about the fact that there was a point in time about 15 years ago or so that Terry and I were discouraged about our house situation. We, we moved from, in one year, we moved four times from the house that we sold to an apartment, to a rent house, and then we moved into your house because <laughs> oh. the rent house, <laughs> the rent house was, had a, they call it a septic system, but it wasn't at all. It was. Not at one, it not was, one. <laughs> it, no, it wasn't. So <clears throat> I was frustrated about that. And we were at your house. It was about the second day that we were there. And I sat down at the little desk in the guest room and you had a pad there, which I, I have a copy of it here. I'll give you a copy, a, a copy of the pad. And the little pad had a bumblebee on it. Yeah. You just set that in there. And I sat down and the Lord began to talk to me. And that's how this whole series was born Is because right? all the scriptures that we're talking about, I wrote those down that day. This was back in 2002. But the main thing that the Lord said to me was, I want you to get aggressive about your faith. Yeah. I was in a place of discouragement. The devil was trying to sift me. He was trying to, to discourage me. 
And I mean, the Lord spoke to me in no small way. And he said, I want you to get aggressive about your faith. I want yeah. you to walk in bulldog faith. I want, to, I want you to get back up on your faith and believe me. And, and quit whining. Quit, I said that. Quit your whining. <laughs> <laughs> quit whining. And, you know, you and Kenneth have stood in agreement with us about the house that we're in and so forth. Well, we're in that house now. It is, it's paid for. We didn't have to borrow on We didn't borrow on it. We renovated the house with cash. Good. We believe God for it. Yeah. And we're in that place now. Well, let me just ask you this. Mm -hmm. Are you glad you did that? I am so glad we did that, <laughs> Gloria. I'm so glad, really, because had we not, we'd been paying to this day, Instead, we've been paying. Instead, you have paying. extra money every month. Gloria, I think about that. You don't have to that. send for a payment. I think about that every month. I think about the fact that there's a chunk every month of finances that are going <laughs> towards and people's, <laughs> and people's lives is going yeah. towards debt. So I just want to encourage you with this. Gloria and I both want to encourage you with what we're talking about. We want you to get back up on your faith and yeah, believe God you. no matter what situation you're dealing with. Or whatever, healing, house, yeah. car, children. Whatever it is. Get on your faith and don't get off. Get on your faith and don't get off. I like that. Get on your right. faith and don't get that's off. That's right. And that's, that's what we have done. And the first scripture that I want to read to you is 1 John 5, 4. And this has been a mainstay of our lives here at the ministry and in our personal lives as well. And it says in 1 John 5, 4, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that, overcome that overcomes the world, the world even, even our faith. faith. So this is the victory that right. is, it's an That's overcoming victory. And you know, our lighting director, Dale, was talking to me and he's, he's a character. Oh, I know We that. love him. And, but he's, he is quite a teacher of the word. And just before you, you came into the studio, he and I were talking and he had done a study. It's not on your notes. I just wrote this down, but he had done a study. It'll be on your notes. He did a study on the word victory. And he said in the Bible, this word victory in this form that it's used is the only place that it appears. And in the Greek, and I think this is interesting in the Greek, it's the word Nike. Nike. Is that where they got Nike shoes? That's where they got Nike. <clears throat> and, but listen to the definition of the, the word victory here. It is the very means of your success. The victory that overcomes the world is your faith. And that it's victory true. is your means to your complete success. So what we have to do is we, if we want to be successful at whatever it is, we have to use our faith. That's right. We have to, we have to if believe God. If you don't God. do that, you're just left in the natural. Yeah. You do whatever you can do. Yeah. But when you use your faith, now That's you're right. connected. That's right. You got you, some connection there. You're in the supernatural. You're in the supernatural. Yeah. And I, I heard this, I heard this phrase one time, Gloria. Um, I believe Bill Winston said this. <clears throat> if you're not living in the supernatural, you're living in the superficial. Well, that sounds right. That's good too. So we need to live in the supernatural. supernatural. It's not real. <clears throat> it's not real. But we, faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. And the stronger we are in our faith, the more aggressive, yeah. the more persistent, the more determined, the more focused we are on our faith, uh, the, the faster these things will happen. That's right. There'll be a faith momentum to our lives that will overcome whatever is before us. You know, you get used to the life of faith and it's just what you do. That's right. I mean, it becomes right. a nat not, it's a supernatural thing, but it becomes a natural thing yeah. for you to, if you had a pain, the first thing you'd do is go to the Word. Right. You'd believe God. You'd command right. that pain to right. leave you. That would be your first reaction. Yes. Yeah. Or if you had a, a need financially, You'd go, the, you'd go to the money scriptures. <laughs> That's right. The money thing, as somebody said. That's right. And you would take those scriptures and build your house or get your new car or get your healing. Right. That's what we right. do. That's what we do. And we have to be, we have to be aggressive Why do we go to the Word? That. Because that's where the faith is. That's where it is. Not anywhere else. And we live this lifestyle around here. This is how our family lives. This is how we talk to each other. That's right. You know, <clears throat> when there's a family gathering, there, 
There is no doubt and unbelief spoken because it's, it sticks out like a sore well, thumb. And you know what the fun thing is? We don't have to watch our words. We, that's just the way it is. That's the way it is. <laughs> that's the way it is. It's our natural, supernatural that's right. way. Amen. And we know just from the experiences that we've had in the past, and this is my 40th year with you in the ministry, and I've seen a lot of things that have taken place and challenges that we've had, but throughout all these years, whatever it's been, whether it's the $6 million deficit that we had back in 1989, mm -hmm. it took faith and believing God to get over that, but we had to get aggressive about it. That's right. We couldn't just lay down and quit. And that's what faith does. Faith will not lay down and quit. It Have will you, not. What did, what did uh, they ask the disciples? What did he ask the disciples? Did you lack anything? And they said, we lack nothing. We lack nothing. We lack nothing. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, there's some scriptures that are coming. We're headed over to he Hebrews. So look at Hebrews. Look at Hebrews 10, first of all. Um, so we're learning how to develop bulldog faith. That's it what works. we're doing, Gloria. We've done it for a lot of years. And we are laying and hold. And it always has <clears throat> provided, whether it's healing, children, finances. That's right. Situations. That's right. That you, right, you know, in the natural, you don't have any control over. Right. But you're not in the natural. Mm -mm. You're in the faith, you're in the supernatural. You're in the supernatural. Amen. And we are here at this ministry right now, when I'm talking to you right here, we are in a place, Gloria, of momentum, faith momentum that I've never seen before. Right. There are prophecies that have been delivered to us through the years, things that the Lord has told Brother Copeland many years ago that we are into now. It's happening right now. And I have never seen a time in this ministry that we've been believing for so much at one time. It's not just one project, but you know, your faith can develop to the point where you can, you can believe for multiple things at the same time. Yes. And it doesn't look like a huge thing. It looks like we can do this. We can do this. Amen. We can believe God together. We do so <clears throat> we are not, if you look with me at Hebrews 10, I said Hebrews 11, we'll be there in just a moment. But Hebrews 10, 38, Hebrews 10, 38, it says this, now the just shall live by faith. Gloria, we live by faith. That's what we do. I wish you could have a picture of my Bible on this. I'm going to put, we're <laughs> going to put a picture of your Bible in the notes. You, you have got to see oh, this. Boy. We'll show it on screen right now. On but the this, faith page is <clears throat> The faith page is full and overflowing. I don't think there's any more room on that faith page. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll do, I'll read margins to you. <laughs> I think, well, go ahead. What have you got there? Anything special that you've got? Look at, look at Hebrews 10, 38. Hebrews 10, 38. Have you got anything by 1038? 1038. Let's see. Here it is right here. Now the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. If it's not, if, if faith is not now, it's not faith. Ooh, boy, now that's faith good. Now faith is the substance. Now, now, yeah. Now yeah. faith gives the materiality mm -hmm. to what you're believing for. And I've got, we leave, we, I can hardly read it. <laughs> we live by progressive faith. Well, that's progressive. Good. That's progressive Your faith faith. should never be stationary. It should never be just stop, slow. It has to be yeah. every yeah. day. Every day. Everything that comes up. Every day. You handle it with the word You're of God. working on your faith. That's living and walking by faith. You're developing that works. faith. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's good. It's just the natural, it's the supernatural, natural way to live. It's the supernatural, natural <laughs> way to live. Glory, like these that? are great, I know, I great quotes that we're getting <laughs> from you. It's the supernatural, natural yeah. way to live. Right. And bulldog faith does not back down. It does not throw in the no. towel. It does not give up, but it presses forward. The nature of faith itself is a spiritual force. It's yeah. a force that moves mountains into the sea, according That's to Mark 11. by the Word of God. <clears throat> That's right. You Going put the Word eyes, in your eyes. It gets in your heart. That's right. It comes out your mouth, and it goes to work. You and, can do that. And from the abundance of your mouth, your heart speaks. Or like you said. The abundance of your heart. <clears throat> the abundance of your heart. <laughs> yes, thank We've you. We've got a lot of mouth. <laughs> it's heart right now we need. I know we got a lot of mouth, but we got to <laughs> fill it with the Word of God. From the abundance of, of your heart. heart your, your mouth, mouth speaks. speaks, and it speaks faith, doesn't it? 
Well, if it's trained, if it's full of it comes out full of the word. But if it's not, if it's not, it's check this out. You'll be talking doubt, unbelief, mm -hmm. fear, curse. I remember you were teaching on faith some years ago, and you're teaching on that scripture, and you said, "From the abundance of the heart, the mouth leaks." Leaks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so whatever, whatever is whoops down there. Whatever is in there, it just comes it's out. It's going to come up and come out. And how does, now let's just, we're probably going to the end from the beginning, but how do things get in your heart? Through these yep. eyes, yep. through these ears. Yep. Things get down in your heart. Got to keep it before and your eyes. And then it goes to work out your mouth. Yep. It's eyes, yep. ears, heart, and mouth. Well, what you're talking about right there, this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth. You shall meditate therein day and night. You observe to do according that all yes. that's written therein. For then you will make your way prosperous, there you and are. then you'll have good success. There you have that is what you call, what Gloria. What scripture is that? And that's Joshua 1.8. Oh, yeah. And Josh. you did a message some years ago on God's success formula. Yeah. And that's, that was the foundation scripture that you used. Now, going back to the scripture in Hebrews 10. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. we got the formula. We got the word. We got the eyes. Okay. We got the ears. Yep. We got the heart. Yep. We got the mouth. Yep. We can do this thing if we, we want to. We can do this thing. You just have to decide to do it. But you have to be a doer of the word to that's do right. it. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah, and make that determination that I am walking in bulldog faith. Nothing is stopping me. That's nothing right. is keeping me back. Nothing is holding me down. You know, it's amazing how easy it gets as you learn how. It, it does, doesn't it? It becomes a, a lifestyle. It becomes yeah. a way of life. Yeah. I mean, for Ken and me, it's not hard for us to speak faith words instead of unbelief words. We've been trained it were, and we that's know right. the result of both of them. That's right. And we want the result of the faith word. Well, that's what this ministry is all about. To if take... you make a mistake and you, you know, you one day wake up blue and gloomy and say the wrong things, what right. do you do? You just say, I rebuke those words. Those are not for me. I, I rebuke them. I command them to fall to the ground. In the name the of Jesus. The devil says, that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> It's fair. It's fair. Do it. It's right. Hallelujah. Well, we're talking about, we've got five minutes left and oh, we haven't no, touched we our haven't notes. But we, we were taught, we're going to talk about determined faith. And let me read this scripture to you. This is on your page, point B. Right. Bulldog faith is determined. Yes, it, it is. It is absolutely determined. And the word determination, Gloria, I looked that up and it means an unwavering resolve. Oh, like Nothing it. can stand in the way or deter one from achieving the end result. And I thought about That's an example excellent. of what we could use for determined faith, this bulldog faith mm -hmm. being determined. And I found Mark 2, verses 1 through 5. And we have it here in the New Living Translation. When Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly and he was back home. Soon, that he was back home. He was, that he was back home. Soon, the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more <laughs> room, even outside the door. While he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Get a picture of that. Yeah, they couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. So they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith. Seeing their faith. Seeing you their can see faith. Fa you can see faith. Okay. You can see faith on people. You can literally see someone who is walking by faith because a person who has faith on them, if they're challenged with something, I'll tell you the only thing that's coming up and out of their heart is the Word of God. And, and those kinds of people, people of faith are inspirational people. Yes, right. And Jesus saw their faith and they said to the paralyzed man, my child, your sins are forgiven. These men, Gloria, were so determined, so resolved to get to Jesus that they tore up the roof of the house and they lowered this paralytic man down into the meeting. That's how determined they were. And that's how determined we have to be. Amen. He saw the faith of those who lowered that man and he saw the faith of that paralytic and that there was no fear on him. I mean, imagine being lowered down on a roof from a roof and, and the paralytic guy wasn't saying, he don't, let do it. he let him do it. He, Jesus saw faith everywhere and that faith was determined. Okay. So now we know you see faith yep. and you yep. hear faith. You see it. 
You can you see hear it, it and you can hear it. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus, Jesus saw it on the centurion. He said, I have not seen such great faith, no, not in Israel. I, that word great in the Hebrew is mega. I have not mega seen faith. such mega faith. Ooh, we need a book named Mega Faith. Mega Faith. That's good. So if you go to your second page, we have two minutes for this. <laughs> on June the 20th of 2008, I wrote a psalm. And I want to read to you my psalm. Okay. And I call it a psalm of determination. And it's, it's uh, here's what I wrote. I've made up my mind. I've made my decision. I have set my faith. I am fully persuaded that I'm going to make it. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to hold me back. Nothing is going to keep me down. Right. Nothing is going to stand in my way of the fullness of the blessing, for I am determined. You can't talk me out of it. You can't discourage me from it. You can't deter me from all that is at mine and that is mine in Christ, for I am determined. Amen. Undaunted, unbending, unflagging, unflinching. No matter what happens, I'm going to make it. According to the word of God, I'm going to make it. For in, in him, him I am determined. determined. And that's like what faith that. is. That is good. Faith Lord. is determined. Yeah, it is. It is determined. Faith does not quit. It doesn't, Gloria. Until it, it has doesn't. substance fulfilled. That's right. Glory that's right. Let's pray for the people okay, right go now. Ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over everyone oh, that's everyone watching. And I thank Lord. you that bulldog faith is rising up on the inside. Yes, there is yes. a victorious faith. faith. They, can, they can see themselves doing the thank things you. they need to do, having the things that they have, they need to have. Praise and I thank God. you, Lord, that we are walking in an aggressive faith, a determined faith, a persistent faith. We're not giving up. You're not giving up oh. today in the name of Jesus. Thank By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. God supplies yes, all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And you're coming out of that situation right now because of that Praise aggressive God. faith. You are a believer and not a doubter. And you are getting stronger and stronger and stronger yes. every day. Your mind is Thank working you, perfectly. Lord. Your body is functioning I exactly the it. way it should be. Cancer is coming off right now in the name of Jesus, being Praise dissolved God. by the power Praise of God. God. Oh God, Praise we are more you, aggressive Lord. with your faith than ever before. And We're thank so you for the victory that overcomes the world, even our, our faith. faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Gloria. Glory to God. Woo! We'll be right back. Do you want to get the most out of this teaching? We have you covered. Download your free copy of the easy-to-use study notes for today's broadcast on kcm.org slash TV notes. Follow along with key teaching points, scriptures, faith-filled prayers, interactive questions, and more. Use them for your personal Bible study or to share with others. Go to kcm.org slash TV notes and download yours now. We are here for you. He said, I want you to become more aggressive with your faith. How do we develop aggressive faith? With the Bulldog Faith Package, the broadcast messages on audio or video, the full study notes with bonus material, audio files of Kenneth Copeland's faith series, and the corresponding study guide will help you learn how to build your faith to overcome any obstacle and receive the results you need. You can take a firm stand and never back down. The world says it will never happen, but the spirit of faith says all things are possible to them that believe. Doubt says you'll always fail. God's word says there is victory in Jesus. Other voices yell, let go, back down, give up. But Bulldog Faith responds, I am fully persuaded and I will not quit. Bulldog Faith is bold, assertive, relentless, forceful, persistent, and determined. Your faith can become that unstoppable force that succeeds in every faith endeavor. Bite down on God's word and don't let go. Use your Bulldog Faith. Faith is a lifestyle. It takes an unwavering resolve to have bulldog faith, mm -hmm. but it's available. You can get all the faith that you <laughs> desire out of the Word of God. Just keep it going in your eyes and your ears, coming out your mouth. Teach your children how to live by faith. Yes. George, yeah. tell us what we got to help them there. This package is specifically designed to help people develop and build their faith. First of all, we have Brother Copeland's classic series on faith. I've been listening to this in the car, and I mean, he teaches these 
these very foundational principles about faith, real Bible faith, application of the God kind of faith, releasing Things the power of faith. I mean, yes, and, and five principles of faith. Faith comes by hearing, developing the force of faith, the greatest faith. Five basic confessions of faith. Gloria, this is he's an... He's a doctor of faith. This, this is... <laughs> yes, he is. This is an outstanding series. Great. And it has a, a study book that goes with it. And then on top of that, we have our teaching from this series that we're doing on Bulldog Faith. We have all of the notes plus additional notes that we don't cover I in this series. And the, the teachings that you and I have done on CD or DVD. So this, Praise if God. you're looking to develop that bulldog faith and go to the next level, this will help you tremendously. Think about if we'd have had that package <clears throat> mm -hmm. when we started getting interested in living by faith. That's how right. How much faster we could have gone <laughs> right. rather than live it out day well, by day. I mean, you can go. Learn you, it day by day. You can go That's at. That's awesome. What they, Star I want Wars one of those. calls it or. Yeah, Star Wars calls it a warp speed. Is that right? Star Trek, warp speed warp in faith. Speed. That's it. And you can learn at a rapid, rapid phrase, total immersion in the Word. Father, we pray for all the people you, listening Lord. today. We thank, <coughs> thank you, Father. You, and George and I agree with them that they would have insight, yes, revelation, you, and know how to live and walk by faith. Praise they know God. how to stay healed and be yes, prosperous. Lord. Thank you. And bring their families you, into Father. the kingdom of God. Whatever it is, Glory Lord, that we need or desire in our life, we can receive it. We receive it. When we stand on your word thank and you, walk Jesus. by faith. And we're so grateful. Heal people today. Be healed in the mm, name of in Jesus. In Jesus' name. Receive revelation as you go from your place today. Just be thinking you, about the Word you, and what God's done for you and Thank meditate you. on it and take it. You know, when you find the Scripture that, you, that fits your need, what do you do? You take it mm -hmm. and you keep mm -hmm. it and you put it in your mouth and you tell people. Right. I'm healed. Glory to God. This is tomorrow's day seven, by the way, and we're going to be focused faith. Focused tomorrow. faith. Single-minded. Yes. Single-minded. This is Gloria Copeland and George Pearson reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. The Believer's Voice of Victory is available free on DVD, CD, or digital download, MP3 or MP4. Call 877-615-4267 or go to kcm.org slash bvovnoffer and request your free copy. Order this week's free TV offer today and build your faith to live in victory. This is the great year. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. August 4th through 6th, the Copelands welcome you to the 2016 Alaska Victory Campaign at the Denina Civic and Convention Center in Anchorage, Alaska. August 19th through 20th, get involved in the 2016 Living Victory Anaheim with Kenneth and Kelly Copeland at the Hilton Hotel in Anaheim, California. September 16th through 17th, get connected at Living Victory Orlando at the Rosen Shingle Creek Hotel in Orlando, Florida.